Hey everybody. Oh, it's a beautiful middle of May day here in Minnesota and I'm on a consult right now. Uh, normally at the end of my consults, if there's time, I like to do some cutting with the landowner just to kind of show them how I lay out bedding areas or ed edge feathering or things like that. Um, today the landowner had to step away for a little bit so I'm going to shoot a little video so I can show him uh, what I was up to back here in this corner on his property um, just to kind of give him, give him an idea of how I laid out this bedding area. So I'll post it to the YouTube channel and everybody will get to see it. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I was up to. So the majority of this property looks like this. It's predominantly burr oak, some red oaks, with lots of hazel, hazel brush and some scattered um, American plum, choke cherry, um, and a few other miscellaneous shrubs growing in the understory. So I like that. I like that there is a, a shrub component to the understory in this oak woods. But what I really like is on the swamp transi transition, we have a lot of aspen. And as you can see, I just cut a lot of aspen down. Actually, on this swamp transition, you can see the marsh right out there. The aspen runs all the way around the edge of these this oak stand. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock all these aspen down, working all the way along that edge, and set up bedding on the transition between the marsh and the hardwoods. And to do that, we just have to flush cut and knock the aspen down. So what I have here is the result of just knocking the aspen down. Now this is not done. I did the easy part. The easy part is just getting the trees cut. Now the work comes in where I have to cut trails through this because we want the deer to be able to, to use this area. But with aspen, as I've talked about many, many times in the past, the goal is to flush cut and knock them down to get that regeneration to boom. Because when you flush cut aspen, you'll get thousands of shoots per acre um, sprouting out of that root system. And ideally, when I like to cut aspen in the winter um, because then going into the growing season, it can just explode out of dormancy um, because all that energy is in the root system just ready to blow up as soon as the growing season starts. Um, today, it just we didn't get to this console till mid-May, so we're doing the cutting today. We're still going to get just as much regeneration. It just won't get quite as tall as it would have if we would have cut in the winter. But on year two, it's going to be eight to ten feet tall so this summer i'm expecting probably four to five ish feet worth of growth but great spot here kind of the end of a point the neighbor's lines over there um, those were right on the fence line so i did not cut those trees but kind of the end of a point nice quiet little nook back here and knocked all the trees down i'm going to go through and cut trails through it so i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done with that Hoofta, i am uh, not in cutting shape yet but all done, I think it turned out pretty cool. So let me show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the initial trail. There's actually two main trails cutting through it. And then I got lots of in-betweens here that I opened up. So like I mentioned, I, I prefer to do this type of cutting in the dormant season. Um, this is when we had time to do it, so that's why we cut it today. But love the dormant season not just because you get that regen coming a little sooner in the spring but also because you're feeding the deer when they need it the most because this aspen is very highly preferred browse so when you cut it down so that they can browse it um, you're really helping the deer out when they're starving in the winter like if you live in the north like we do up here in minnesota so anyway main trail cuts up through there Here's a big opening I, I did in the middle. You can see it is a lot of cutting when you cut this way. So if when you're dropping trees, let's say you do an hour of dropping aspen, assume you need at least two hours of cleanup, just depending how dense those trees are. Maybe even three hours of cleanup for, out, for every hour of um, dropping trees that you do. But I love having big open spots like this in the middle because this aspen is just gonna go, I mean, blow right up. So this is gonna become thick and dense. Obviously this will break down some, but that is bedding structure. And then when the aspen grows up in here, they'll have the aspen to browse on, it's gonna become more cover. And they have big clear spots like this. 
that they can bed in and we also have some nice trees coming back got an oak there there is a lot of choke cherry coming back or just cherry it might actually I think that's just cherry but there is some choke cherry coming back too um, so there's there's good other species that'll be growing in here and they didn't have a chance before when the aspen were shading them out but now you know they will come up with the aspen as they get some full sunlight so it's nice to add a little bit of, of diversity to this area There is the property line so the deer will be able to skirt right through the edge of this and there's a trail taking them right up to a deer stand there massive hole in the canopy man I can feel the wood ticks crawling all over me I bet I picked off two dozen today I will be loaded when I check myself later I can just feel my legs crawling anyway Got a trail cutting up through here. I'll show you what that looks like. This just kind of takes takes it out to the marsh. The more trails, the better. I mean, the more jump offs that you have, the more the deer are going to use it. Like even a little spot like this. So clearing this, cleaning this up right here up next to this log. This would be a spot a deer would want to bed. One thing that the landowner will do here in a few weeks is come back through here, and he'll do a little bit of cleanup. And I'm sorry, the wind's picking up. Here, I'll cut up through here and then I'll talk about that. Get out of the wind. Love this spot. I mean, this just looks really cool. And this is definitely a spot a deer is going to want to hang out. This grass will get tall, it'll grow up through the treetops, get propped up by these, these tops. Nice and shaded, obviously this is gonna die down because those are cut trees, but the regen will grow up right through that and continue to provide the structure here. Got a nice red oak that I released right here, dropping acorns. Good structure all around. Escape out this way, escape out this way. So this is a spot a deer's definitely gonna wanna hang out. But like I was saying, in a few weeks, the landowner will come back through here with a backpack sprayer and some ground clear. He's gonna spray down all these trails. He's gonna clear out spots and spray them for beds. And that'll just further enhance this area and get the deer to use it. So, I mean, they're gonna use it already. The way it's cut, we could leave it as is and it'll be fine, but those are those fine tuning things you can do in your bedding cuts just to ensure the deer will use it. So I wanted to make sure they could still have access to some of these shrubs because I'm sure they're going to be bedding up. We got willow over there. Um, I'm trying to look at what the leaf is on this one. I think it's alder. Anyway, they're going to be bedding up in these shrubs here. So I want them to be able to have that. But now this is this aspen coming back is just going to screen this off even more and encourage even more bedding right on this marsh transition. Perfect nook cut here, trail. So this is the back side of all the bedding cut. And I got a trail going all the way through it with some jump offs. Nice open room right here. I want, if I can get big open spots in these aspen cuts, that's what I want. I don't want it to be too narrow like this. Like this is just a connecting trail. But I want to have spots that open up into bedrooms, kind of like this. That's more open there. This is a little bit more open in here. Now they're jump off trail into the marsh. But the more space we can give, the better because this is gonna blow up very quickly and we need spots for them to bed. If I would have just left this cut and left it, no deer would have used it because they couldn't be able to move around in it. We want to have open spots. Now here's another spot. I left it open so that they can sneak up through there. Cut in another jump off spot. More escapes the better.
at another spot like this. Now this the aspen weren't quite as dense here, so I didn't necessarily need to cut a trail right through here. The deer will be able to meander through here just fine and they'll find open spots because there's open spots all over where they can bed down right here. But I did cut it so they can get through there. I cut a little spot cutting back through over there. There's plenty of room for them to move around. I need to always mention it, but if you know if you are able, if you have marketable aspen, um, always consider logging first. I've said it many times, but this is very, very labor-intensive cutting, I mean, it wears you out. You do this for eight hours, and you'll be feeling it the next day. But the nice thing with aspen in Minnesota, it is a money tree. It's marketable. So if you have enough acres of aspen on your property that you can um, get a logger out, I would always consider that first. Now, in this case, there was not that much aspen. It had been cut at one point um, when they were taking jack pine off this property. But it would have been probably 15, 20 years before this stuff would have been big enough to cut again. And even then, I don't think we would have, there wouldn't have been enough for a logger to come out for just the aspen. They would have had to consider taking out some of their oaks if they wanted to get a logger out here. So we want good hunting now. So it was cut today. And the, the other stuff that's on this property along this marsh transition will be cut in the future and all it's going to do is encourage more bedding right down here get more food for the deer more cover and as a bonus we're releasing a bunch of oak trees so more acorns too so win 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 all right that was the project for today you all take care god bless